Are we rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. Okay, so. Oh my god, my cans are way too hot. Can you turn these down a little bit, Jason? Jesus. Why are the cans Christ. too hot? Oh, the cans are too, are too hot. Hot cans, somewhere in the city. The cans are way too hot. Hot cans. We got a fucking heat wave coming. I mean, it's hot, but whatever. We're um, in the middle of a heat wave. Heat wave. <laughs> We're in the Canada's. We got a heat wave right now, baby. We got yeah, you guys are what? Forty-four degrees. No, we're like four, four at forty. You're a heat wave. The show started due to due to um. Is that Sean B? Sean B. What up? Sean what B. Up? How much time you got? What up? Okay, then let's get right into it. Get right into it. No, 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 no. Got get it. We 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 got fucked up. Okay. You you sit down. <laughs> Sean B. Oh my God. I got some food. This is a food here. podcast. <laughs> it's not. Welcome, listen. We got welcome Sean B. Here. What? Yeah. Yo. What? How much time you got, Sean? I really don't have a lot. Like what? Five, ten, twenty? Five, ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yeah. Okay. We're He's gonna... got ten minutes. My girl's at the house, like working right now. Okay. So Sean B. I'm going to do a quick breakdown of Sean real quick. I'm going to do this fast. We're going to run through this. Let's go. Let's Put go. some cans on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Sean B. is the old cans. school homie. What up? What up? He's an L.A. staple. He's just he's just a good dude. Except for this he's feels like a, a pastry. These Cookies. are these are pastries. I'm fucked. Oh, you can't eat that? I mean, I can and I will. No, he's keto. He's a keto loser. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh. Those are homemade chocolate chip cookies. I have to eat it. I have to eat it. <laughs> I don't have a choice if it's in the house. You have um, to eat it because if I was there, I'd eat it all. And if you don't fucking eat it, you're wasting it. If you were don't here, I'd, I'd, I'd shove it into your mouth like a pencil and a pencil sharpener. It would just go. Ow. Omar, leave him alone. What's so listen, on? Sean B's, we just lost. We just lost Maddie on Zoom. No. Uh, Okay, Sean B is doing a food delivery. Uh, wow, jerk chick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my what god. is it? What is it's it? Jerk, it's jerk chicken, dog. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a little jerk chicken, a little beef patty. What? Oh, uh -huh. little beef patty? You got oh beef, beef patty? Beef patty. Oh my god. I can't Can front. I didn't make. I didn't make the beef patty though. I can't front. It's Sean. Cute. Um, hold on one sec, Jason. I can't see Sean. Can you move the fucking laptop or whatever so I can see <laughs> Sean and Two-Tone and not your ugly ass? Damn. There we Sean? go. What's up, there dude? What's up? What's up? What up? Sean B okay. came through. So, look, I'm not going to eat on air, but I am eating on air. But I'm just going to run No, you through. always eat on air. Sean, do you know that Two-Tone only eats whole chickens? And he, oh, every perfect. meal, he only eats whole chickens. That's why um, I brought a little extra for you, too. I gave you a little white meat and dark meat. Oh, my God. Ooh. Fire. <laughs> We'll That's put, a two little dipping, sauce, little oh. dipping sauce in there too for you. We'll put the info in the thing. What's the we'll, dipping sauce? What's the dipping sauce? Uh, it's like just a jer it? yeah, jerk marinade that I made. Ooh. It's a little spicy, but it's like oh, it, it hits. It that. hits. Okay, and, so and, and so, what? I want to interview Sean B real quick about okay. food. <laughs> we got ten minutes with so, Sean. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean no rush. Okay, it's we got good. this is a quick fire. This is a quick fire. Yeah. In in in, in the middle of the pandemic. People need essential things, food, shelter, clothing, masks. Yes. What what inspired you to make food from your heart, from your soul, and you want to give it to people? Tell so, me your story. Whether you're working from home or you're working on your fitness, you want what you're listening to to be what you're listening to, not what your, you know, loser buddies are listening. You don't want to listen to that. No, you don't listen to that. Everyone needs a great pair of wireless earbuds. But before you go dropping hundreds of dollars on a pair, you need to check out the wireless earbuds Raycon. You already know Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market. And they sound just amazing. The newest model, oh! The everyday E25 earbuds are their best ones yet with six hours. Playtime, seamless, Bluetooth pairing, more bass. I don't have a lot of bass in my voice, but hey. And they got, uh, you know, the noise isolating. Oh, they're comfortable. Raycon Airbuds are comfortable. And you know, 
Lots of, lots of co-founders, okay? Lots of co-founders. They got the Ray J, the Snoopy. They got the Cardi B, Melissa Etheridge. Oh, they're all obsessed with Raycons. Now's the time to get the latest and greatest from Raycon. 15% off your order at buyraycon.com slash PTA. That's buyraycon.com slash PTA for 15% off Raycon Wiles earbuds. Buyraycon.com slash PTA. So originally, like we would host a lot of parties at our house all the time. I was always yeah. cooking spreads, making like charcuteries and all kinds of different spreads. One of our homies that came to my house was, he's a chef. And he would always like, oh, you need help? And I'm like, no, nah, dude, I got it, I got it. I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know the extent of the chef that he was. So when the pandemic hit, he, he, he was like, listen, man, I have like 20 pounds of like ribeye left over. Why don't you sell it to like your homies? Yeah. And I, I was like, no, nah, that's kind of weird. It's like, I don't feel comfortable. And so then, uh, Get closer to the mic, Sean. So then, uh, so then I was like, we finally did it. I finally agreed to do it. And we did this ramen. And the ramen was fire. Like, Bishimi. The ramen was so fire. Bishimi, everybody ordered, everybody reposted. And after I got, we did 50 orders. And I was like, holy wow. shit. I wasn't expecting that. So after that, I had to do another one. And then the chef guy kind of disappeared on me. And so <laughs> I had to start doing it on my own. And right. event eventually he told me straight up, he was like, you know, I saw something in you from cooking all these other food. I just right. wanted to push you to do something. Right. And so that's how this all started. Well, let me just tell you about Sean. All right. Sean B is a rare person in Los <laughs> Angeles, a, a, an actual good dude. Who has actual. been cooking an actual good like I know Sean a long ass long, time. Long time. Mutual. We just grew up, you know, we're from LA. A good dude. He's been having Sunday dinners at his house since I can remember. Yeah. And I so mean you, Sunday. Yeah. yeah. And he's been cooking. He's just the most gracious, inviting host. Like everyone's welcome. Everybody eats. Just got a good soul, man. And now he's doing this. I mean, he, he, you know, here we go. Yeah. Um I think it's amazing. Thanks, it's like I, I like like just seeing I've only met you, you know, a couple of times. Yeah. And, and 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 what you radiate is is just like this this ultimate fucking positivity. Every Appreciate time. It. Like take your mask off, show the smile. Let's see the smile. <laughs> show me <laughs> look at that. <laughs> what a it's funny you talk Sean, man. I should take some notes from Sean because uh, I'm I'm getting a lot of heat for not being positive. And he you know, well, this, Sean Okay. It's all about Let's positivity. Jump in. Okay. So Sean yeah, I think it's really just a beautiful thing. You're doing something that is is a lot of people aren't that great at cooking. You are taking a, a, a skill. Cooking is a trade, you know. Yeah, and you're taking sure. that, taking your time, feeding people, and and to taste something so good. I know that I can see. I've I've fallen the whole time. <laughs> Ever since that moment, I can see two tongues smiling. Yeah, two tongues doesn't smile often. He's, He's like an old fucking, you know, he's a grumpy yeah. old guy. But but it, it. It, it, it's so beautiful that the, within the chaos of the world, you're finding that that glow. You're finding Man. the light. You're you're finding the love, and and to sh share that through that food. Is, is that's the ripple that is it, that's it, the that's the wave it's been know? a blessing man it's been a blessing because this was not my career prior to COVID. i right. was into something completely different and i found my voice maybe for the rest of my life you know what i mean because i was like what am i gonna do when i'm older you know i was doing that bar mobile bartending thing yeah. that thing got shut down immediately immediately mm. so this is like, I mean, we donated a hundred mils the other day to a school mm. or to not so to a school. And that's like to be able to do that kind of stuff and other homies come together and donate. And it's yeah. like this, it's been such a blessing for like so many, you know, not just me, but for like m my wife and I, you know, it like, probably makes more sense to you feed people rather than give them booze. Pretty much for you. Yeah. That's what you do anyway yeah. in your free time. So, you know, yeah, no, it really does. And it's, it's just like the, the satisfaction that I get is like, what do you got? Stuff. You got rice in there? Rice and peas. Yep. You got rice and peas. So I got rice and peas. Wow. Um, I did like a um, a coleslaw. 
like a Carolina coleslaw with some uh, with some curry in it, mm -hmm. no yes. mayonnaise. And then I did a, a cabbage, a, yeah. like a, a steamed fire. cabbage with uh, with some jerk seasoning in there. Cabbage is very good wow. for you. Yeah, wow. I know I did two cabbages, but I was like, I needed to like, if it was too hot, I wanted to give you that Carolina one and kind of bring it back down. Oh, no, it's not hot enough. Yeah, it brings that acid, gives that crunch. Yeah, it's look at so a little amazing. crunch, a little freshness to it. Yeah, it's so, so beautiful. It's so good. And so, okay. <laughs> The, uh, it's amazing. Two Tone literally can eat like 16 chickens in one day. You should have but to told fucking, me. <laughs> dude, the thing that I think is amazing. So, me and Two Tone, we got a little bit of a, a little bit of a dynamic. I'm, we know, we, we, me and you, we know Two Tone. We know yeah. Alex. Yeah, for sure. You know, we, yeah. we, we know Alex. We love Alex. And, and the thing about it is, is, is that this podcast is broadcasted on my YouTube and throughout. And, and a lot of my, my fans and followers think that Alex <laughs> is negative. He's all, <laughs> and, 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 and so I, I really wanted to, to try to show him that he doesn't, and he's always on his phone. He's always sniffling. Yeah. He's always like kind of that's, really listen, that's fair. half engaged. He's half engaged. And as listen, somebody you that's just... positive, and as somebody that is a naturally positive person, it still takes work to be positive most sure. of the time, doesn't yes, it? Yes, for sure. But let me you say something. Shoes. You got to yeah. put a this. There's a difference between being negative and really enjoying talking shit, <laughs> which is what I like to do. I like to talk shit. Now, yeah. for some, I'm going to give you guys a quick lesson on people. When This is a pretty good thing. When you see people in the media, the nicest person that you see is the devil. And typically, the most gruff, mean person is a sweetheart underneath. So do the math. <laughs> this motherfucker right here, he will be exposed. No. Racist. Racist. <laughs> Not racist. No. Reality. Um, but I, I will say this. I will say this. On the last episode, when you and Eric Andre were talking about food. Oh, that's my boy. Yeah, Eric's on homie. I'm going to his house on Sunday for uh, that's for Mexican food, actually. Oh, sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah Dude, great. He, that's, he our just me up. that's our quarantine, <laughs> homie. Dude, dude, he he just hit me up. It, that's funny that you said you're going to this house for Mexican. He just hit me up. He's like, "How do you make chicharrones?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we've, we've been so quarantining funny. over there every Sunday just to like. Dude, he's got a good setup in the back. Great now. setup, great setup. Yeah. It's so sick. Yeah. So on so that sick. show, they started talking about food and French fries. <laughs> and I can't. I'm. I have such like. ADD that I just start doodling. Oh, shit, I'm just like yeah. tagging on shit and doing yeah. like, and then I realized when I looked at it, cause I actually watched the show. Cause like, I'm a big fan of Eric Andre, not so much of Maddie. And, <laughs> and I'm looking at myself on the show and I think it's okay for me to draw. But the problem is I'm looking down and I'm just completely checked out <laughs> because you guys are talking about like, what's the best, what's the most coarse pepper to use on your French fries? And <laughs> how do you make a poutine? I, I want to fucking shoot myself. You don't. You're not into cooking at all. I don't like. I just. It's just like I just do no, it. He to get it in. He's a fuel. He's a fuel. He, he enjoys good meals, but he's like yeah. a fuel guy. Like, go look at his dude. After you're done, just take a <laughs> quick look at his fridge. It's just like chickens and like pills. All he eats is like where do you, where do you buy them from? pills and like. I make anywhere. chicken. Well, okay. I buy. I get them at Kismet. Okay. Um, oh, that's fire! Yeah, that that fire. Puerto La Brazo fire. has a fire chicken. Yeah. yeah. Um. Have you been to a Royal Spot? Uh, Royal? No, he had a chicken spot. Yeah. Oh, totem. Huh? Oh, really? Yeah, it's fire. Oh, they use Mary's chicken, all like Mary's. Uh, what is it? Organic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totem I mean, I is fuck what? With... In Silver Lake? No, it's in uh, on Beverly. On um, Beverly. Beverly, and it's yes, kinda, yes, yes, yes. It's like that right way. next to mixtape, kind of like. Yes. But you know where Escuela is? Oh yeah. So he's gotten he's got three spots now: Escuela, oh, wow. Totem, and then he took over mixtape. Huh. Now mixtape's gonna become a squela, and then he's bringing Cobras and Matadors back. Oh, he's bringing Cobras and Matadors back. Yeah. Oh, okay. But he's... you should try Totem. It's a, it's the only chicken spot. It's, it's fucking delicious. Yeah, I can only, just go there I and buy a whole bird. It. I used to stay off of Beverly, like right across from like um, I used to always stay at this house right across from like El Coyote. And oh, so, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right there. It's right there. Yeah, yeah. I always saw it. It's like, delicious, man, man. It's, it's so just good. like straight rotisserie. Yeah. Straight rotisserie. Yeah, it's it's good. Why it's, is LA? Like, it's so funny. Like, in Toronto, we have, we don't have a lot of rotisserie chicken spots. We have a lot of Portuguese. Yeah. So, like, Ooh. there's like a, a million kind of Portuguese chicken shops, and they do like the spatchcock flat 
yep. and all the grills, and then they like shove them into the oven, yep. char the fuck out of them, pull them out, baste them, shove them back in. And it's just a, it's such a funny thing. Like, where, where, like, where, 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 where does LA, like, LA, like, rotisserie chicken is becoming like a full thing. I mean, it's always been, well, like, Zanku was always like fire. Yeah. Shit like There's that. always just yeah. been a whole chicken, like, the old school spots. You just get a whole chicken, oh, that, take it that's, home, that's just pretty, fire. Yeah. No. What is that? Is that the beef patty? Yeah. It's a little mini little beef patty. Little mini beef patty. So fucking good. We should have made it's this. So we fucking couldn't, good. The budget didn't allow the big ones. No, it's perfect. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't so want a whole beef patty. You take a nap. And so, so Sean, so yeah. like, how are you? What are you learning about? Like, you're seeing. It's so, always so funny when people get into like food service and, and yeah. hospitality and stuff like that. And it's just like everyone knows. It's like the stoop. Like just like you know, the margins are so fucking wire thin. Yeah. And, and and just cooking at your home. Every time you get this, you have to buy all of the ingredients. You don't have this like everyday running where you're bringing stuff in like a regular restaurant. Like, yeah. it's really, you're going out on a limb, you know? We're, like it's, it's such a, and you first, want to get it at a good price point. Yeah, for sure. The first couple of times was a little difficult and then I'd yeah. always have extra or whatever. Now it's, my girl's like on my ass. She won't, she won't even let me go to the store by myself anymore. Cause I'll right, right. end up buying like, <laughs> You know, I'll buy like five yeah. gallons of olive oil or something. She's like, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm buying for the future. She doesn't understand that. You know what I mean? I but, love to right, bulk right, buy right. shit. Yeah, you. Ha I mean, we're gonna use it. I love it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, she's like, why are you buying like five pounds of chocolate chips? And I'm like, because we. So use you only got to do it once. Yeah, I don't every, keep every few going months. Back. So I'm learning Chocolate that chips. kind of stuff. Yeah, but again, the so the guy you might know him, Maddie. So the guy that pushed me into this and got me started is uh, this dude. Turns out. He was the executive chef, which I only found out last week. He was the executive chef at Morimoto in New York. This dude, okay. Cass Cassidy Hallman. And uh, okay. so he has a test kitchen out here. Oh, shit. He dusted the whole box. Sponto. <laughs> he, has, he has a test kitchen out here that he's like, lets me use anytime I want, which makes everything a lot easier, too. So, so now you're you're prepping in like a like a commissary type kitchen exactly instead exactly. of doing it at home. Amazing. I'll do some stuff at home. I'll go prep. Like yesterday, we went and uh, we went and uh, butchered all the chickens, and then I brought it back to the house and threw them on the smoker this morning. Right. But uh, yeah, it just makes it a lot easier so you to got a, cook. You got a smoker outside your house now? Yeah, yeah. I have two smokers. Like big barrel. Outside? And then yeah, run us through. Old school barrel. Run us run us through your your jerk chicken. What what is like get that your marinade? Window. Your marinade. How oh, long dude, you marinate? How long you smoke? What's going on? Um, so last night I started the marinade when I got home. What did I put in there? Uh, lime zest. Or no, it wasn't lime zest. It was lime. Uh, allspice. What's the little berry? I, I don't even know all the names of all this stuff. But allspice. The, uh, but it was the allspice. But I clove. got the the, cl the whole one. Clove, allspice, uh, nutmeg, brown sugar. Uh, scotch bon it wasn't getting good scotch bonnet, so I uh, put soy sauce in. Soy sauce, habanero, yeah, yeah. Um, green, green onion, onion, red onion. Yeah. Uh, what else did I throw in there? Uh, some even some rum, some spiced rum. Ginger. I cooked it. Ginger, and then I just blitzed it up and then poured it That's over the it. chicken. So back overnight. when I, back when I was uh, when I when I was partying for a minute <laughs> about four four years ago or so. When I had a little oh, shit. had a little momentary Spell. slip, I was spending yeah. some time at Sean B's house because oh not God. only is Sean B's house a place. I mean, it used to be. I don't know if it still is. Well, no, definitely not in pandemic. It's different now. <laughs> but <laughs> not only was it a place it's to get now. a good meal, but you could oh, go there man. and it was the after hours jump off spot. Like he lives in this right. cold kind of a, a, an elbow up in Beechwood. And you can go and then he's got like this backyard area and like he was just we would just end up there Dude. three in the morning. Everyone just mm. blitzed everyone on all kinds mm. of things. Neighbors hated me. Neighbor. Like yeah. I was like, how did oh the neighbors? Oh, my God. They hated me. You had homeboy late in your guest house for a minute. Yeah. And it was just chaos. Like, <laughs> Dude. I mean, and he'd always have that. He was the drink service guy. So you go there. All the booze is there. And there'd always be these like I'm like how why is there a huge spread of food like my, my, I, I'm on so much coke my teeth are chattering I don't even want to look at a grape you know what I mean? You're like I eat twelve air burgers. Oh my god! Yeah, dude, was, you know it's funny though. It's like all my neighbors love me now. They love you now. Every, you chilled out. Yeah, I got married. Oh yeah, you yeah, know what I mean. Yeah. And my yeah. wife knows everybody on the block. My wife. 
She knows, she's like <laughs> bring <them> food. <laughs> yeah, they like they all order food on the food days. Like oh. so, I don't have a certain day that I do it. I just kind of like, you know, I try to. We're trying to put out a, a menu like once a month, and then just kind of update people during the week. Like this is what's coming right. on Tuesday. But it's just tough because like restaurants open and like the business slowed down a little bit. But we're yeah. still doing. Like today we have 40 orders. That's good for us. Huge. You huge. know what I mean? I, I love that. It's like, and it's like. And how many it, days, how many days a week are you, are you delivering? Uh, twice a week. Twice, twice a week. week. Yeah. So Sick. that's like. So Friday, Saturdays or what is it? So typically, Aust- you know, you know, Austin, he yeah. used to, yeah. Austin, yeah. uh, Perlman's, he's doing Perlman's. Mm-hmm. He was doing Friday, so he took a break. So I was like, yo, I'm going to do this Friday. Oh, you guys are working together okay. to like. I mean, I didn't want to cool. like, you yeah, know, yeah. I, mean, I didn't want to like yeah, I was just kind of have a lot of the same. I was just thinking about him. I was like, it's the same base. market. Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm just kind of doing it as I feel like I'm like, oh, so the next one we're doing is next Thursday. We're going to do Sick. a bento box. OK, so right. and then, uh, you know, it's just it's it's, you know, I'm doing cool shit like Risky does a podcast. I don't know if you've seen it. Mm-hmm. He does a pos- podcast every Thursday mm-hmm. at his place. And he has a different chef come in. So we did, we went out there and did sushi last week. Risky does a food podcast? It's just like a... Graffiti? I I, like the last guest was uh, the dude from uh, Jane's Addiction. Does he still live next to Scene? No, he took over that house. So he took he, Scene's crib too? He took Scene's crib. So he has one huge compound. Risky is like a, Risky is a legendary West Coast graffiti. Like It's crazy. When I say legendary, I mean like... yeah. Risky like, and like Scene. Two-tone. Where's Two Tone? No, no, no. Where's Two Tone? Where's Two Tone? No, Where's no two-tone? real talk. Real talk. You got Come Risky on. and Scene. I'm like down, like. No. No, it's true. I'm, he, he's being no, nice. No, well, Sean, Sean, where, where's Two Tone on that? Where's I mean, I, I would say, I mean, if Risky's up here, Two Tone's like not very far below. There we go. No, Nobody's I'm pretty far below. No bullshit. Pot. No graffiti bullshit. Graffiti man. So, so we call him <laughs> Graffiti man. <laughs> Graffiti man, and and I don't even nobody, do gra- I've done graffiti in like ten years. I mean, I t- I draw, man. but now I'm graffiti man. But 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 back in the day, can you give some context? Like for for all of the powerful <laughs> truth angels out there, like two tone, he was all city, right? He, that's all city. I, that's a good. All he was city, all city for sure. Yeah, for sure. He's putting a lot of and butter. No, on, no on bullshit. It. I mean, I wasn't even into graffiti, but like people I was thought all, I was I in was, cruise and shit because I hung out with like all these. I was all city in one city. Come on, in Venice. Yes. Nah, I ran one city for like a, a minute, like a minute, because I lived next to a graffiti yard. Right when when the pavilion was yeah. before it got destroyed, my apartment was literally like I could see the pavilion from my apartment. So I just wake up in the morning and be like, I'm just gonna go do a piece. So I just I'd have like six seven pieces because <laughs> I just live there. You know what I mean? But I was lazy. Yeah. I was like, there's guys, you know, in the, in the in the structure. Oh, thank you, man. In the structure of my crew, like, yeah, I was in a uh, still am. Were you really, was seen was seen and risky in your crew? Risky was like risky decided to be in our crew because he's like super OG. Yeah, and it's like risky right. at that point. Risky be like, I want to be in this crew. You're like, yeah, of course, because he's risky. He's like he's like an '80s legend, LA. Like, right. and seen is '70s to '80s New York legend, like. Right. These guys are in the graffiti books, like the the Henry Chalfant fucking uh, Martha, yeah. whatever the fuck books. They're in those books. If you look at them, you'll see a risky piece, and you'll see a piece that's like still. You should come out and do his podcast, Risky's. Yeah, yeah I'd do that. Yeah, well, Two Tones on a food podcast right now. I hate too. that we're. I hate that this is the thing about our podcast is I'll that I'll cook. I'll come. I'll do. I'll be. The I'm trying right not there. to talk about food, and he just burnt a half hour <laughs> talking about like, well, you know, what do you do? You, uh, do you do you ship the peas in from uh, from North Asian Cambodia, and then sh- put shallots on top of them for a half hour and talk to? I them wasn't. And- I was talking to Sean about his, his technique and fucking making jerk chicken. That's what I was, was good. I mean, I, I just dusted this box. So what's in this box? To the same face. thing. Same thing. I brought two for Should you. I eat Jason's too. How rude would that <laughs> Damn, be? Damn, you ain't messing around. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, there ain't that nothing makes, in that there. That makes me feel good. Nah, man. Shit. Dude, oh, yeah. nah, it, it, that's a beautiful thing. Wow, so Sean, sure, yeah, that's dangerous right there. So I, I, I just want to like, so right now, like, what is the future? Like, what, what, like. Obviously, this has birthed kind of a new, like you were even saying at the beginning. Like, where do you think, like, what are you hoping right now? Like, are you hoping to get up to like three days? You're doing two days right now. Do you want to go three? Do you want to kind of build this out? I, w- I would love to build it out and uh, 
I wouldn't mind going three days, like doing two, but then doing like a donation day. You know what I mean? Yes. Like that's, yes. that's, if I want to go bigger, that's what I would do as far as like, I don't need, I think two days is cool. But yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. To like pay the bills and all that stuff. But if I go three, I, it's just got to be like, I mean, I've had multiple people hit me up already just from the food delivery the other day. Right. So I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to, two is just like perfect for me. Right. And it, we were doing Soul Food Sunday, and I was like, you know what? I don't even want to work Sunday. It sounds like kind of, you know, wrong, but I'm like, I don't want to work on Sunday. Yeah. And you what kind I mean? of charity? What kind of charity? Like, um, you were saying that you you, you dropped so, off a bunch of foods. Did yeah, we dropped off. Uh, we dropped off. My wife found this charity called. Uh, oh, my. Uh, <laughs> uh, my, my Friends Place, which they, they, they basically look out for homeless teens. And they cool. feed them. Usually they would have like computers available to them, different things like, you know, like anything they might need to just get get along. So, um, yeah, the other day we just we donated 100 mils. Jamie Strong and uh, another homie, Jerry Mang, like put up money to, for me. to. They asked me to cook. So, oh, OK, yeah, That's it was really great. cool. Yeah. And then like multiple people have hit me up that want to do the same thing. So it's just like it's cool to be able That's to. Awesome. Just, yeah. So, it's, sidebar on that, too. I just want to throw this out here. Um, Previous just turning the cameras on recording, Maddie, uh, Maddie told me that he he thinks that I want to get your thoughts on this, Sean. Yeah. Um, Should I put Ma this mask back on? Yeah, I don't know. I don't even I didn't fucking know anymore. Like, <laughs> no, take it on, pick it off. I don't know. I'm trying You're to do in. something. Just keep it off. Keep it off. <laughs> Leave it off. I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm straight. Either. Have you been tested? We yeah, tested. Been tested. I'm you clean. Have? I'm clean. Okay. We tested, I been, we tested Sean clean. B. Like I on Joe Rogan. We tested him. <laughs> oh, you were you were on Rogan without me and you tested Sean? Okay. Yeah, we, we went down to Rogan's podcast before yeah. this. You guys cooked on Rogan's and, yeah. and didn't uh Okay, so so yeah, before before we started the show, Maddie goes, I think what I really want to do this is before the camera time, he goes, What we should really do is we should fuck each other <laughs> so we can figure out who fucks the best. Now I wanna just ask you does that sound logical to you? No, not at all. No, but Sean, if we were to fuck, if we were to fuck each other, then yeah. we would know who could fuck. Like if, if we try to fuck each other the best, and me and Two Tone had to fuck each other as best as we could, we would know, and then we could help each other along the way. Like you know, you need to be like, I, Maddie. Yeah, I don't think Maddie, you got like you got a whole clan over there now. You got mad kids. I don't think you need help, man. He's popping out well that doesn't mean he knows how to fuck he just knows how to dump a load <laughs> he knows how to <laughs> impregnate <laughs> dude that's got nothing I, to do with I'm fucking like, dude i got three kids and it's, it's like that's like like that's just seconds that's you just seconds. Dro you just drop the thermometer in the turkey and let it go dude huh? i'm just like trish, trish is like i gotta get a vasectomy because i'm just like she's like we fuck we every time we, we only fuck like once a year to get pregnant i'm like a thoroughbred <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, a, I'm like a fucking, I'm like a Clydesdale. Oh, so you're not even putting in work then? No, there's okay. no work happening. No, dude, it's crazy. It's like every time we, it's just like I don't know, man. It's wild. Oh, I gotta get a vasectomy, but anyway, whatever. It's all yeah. So his, bars. so his logic is that, uh, and here's the thing: if we, if we were fucking each other, then we both would be rooting. <laughs> the only way to win that contest, right? If we fuck each other, say who fuck Beth, there's just two people voting. We're voting one to one. We're going to vote for each other. But if one of us was so good and so passionate in bed that the other person wow. couldn't deny it, they go, you know what? You are the best fucker. You that, and that's ultimately are the what best Maddie. Fucker. This whole podcast, <laughs> yeah. this whole thing that we've been doing for yeah. like eighteen months, yeah. fucking around, is just so we can get to a point where we're strong enough. We have a strong enough following. Enough money comes in to where Maddie can fuck me. <laughs> Like most of my no, relationships, I, I, it's just all about eventually fucking me. You guys are really good friends. That's tight. <laughs> I think AJ, no, we just need to, I just need to see who's better. You know, there's no better way than if we, we just have to fuck each other. I am see, better, and, and, objectively. <laughs> I'm better. It's just what like. What do you mean? I beat I, you, I beat you in every single contest. You've, you've beat me accidentally playing oh, poker shit. once and you beat oh, me in arm shit. wrestling. Because every kinda, single one, you play poker. That's right. Uh, yeah, we got um, a Saturday. He night quit game though. He though. quit. You he do? quit. Yeah. He's a quitter. Are you playing digitally? Or are you playing real life? No, no, real life. How are you gonna do that? My homie has a spot. But how do you? How are you gonna play? <laughs> in, in how can you play and be safe? I don't know. We'll find out Saturday. You play poker? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Is a lot of people there not play poker? Yeah. Oh, it's a lot of new guys. I don't think so. I think they're like. 
they know what's up. Oh, okay. That's yeah. no good for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys being like low key. Everybody's I don't have, I don't, I don't Is have everybody the patience. Beginners? I don't have the patience for poker. It's too much. For beginners me. are the worst because. I'm not good and I'm not bad, but playing a beginner is horrifying. Yeah, because you can't get a read, right? You can't get a read. You yeah. don't know what the fuck they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. Like yeah. me. And they're just like stumbling around. Yeah, that, that would be me too. I wouldn't know any of that shit. Yeah. So wait, you guys, are gonna, you guys are going to have an in-person poker game now in the middle of all this shit. How do you do it? Uh, I'm going to find out Saturday. Okay. I talked to... Um, uh, it's like my buddy. It's not really my shit. My... Uh, my girlfriend was saying that her friend is going to maybe have a game, but he's going to actually have a COVID testing machine. Oh, sick. At his house. Yeah. And he's going to like, this is what she said. And maybe this is outdoor too, I think. Outdoor. It's got to be outdoors. Yeah, for sure. But even so, like the problem with poker is that you guys are, everyone's elbow Cards to elbow. And, yeah. You got to, you, it's and like, and then there's like three people at the table without a mask on. Right. And it just fucks the whole thing up. I played like, I'm not going to lie. I played two games in this, in this thing. And I was, I was like, I can't do this. Yeah. This is too crazy. Would you go to so, Vegas ever? Uh, would I? Yeah, right now. Now, hell yeah. no, no. Okay. I'm not going to Vegas. No, <laughs> fuck no. I'm not going to Vegas. I'm trying to miss this whole. I don't want to test it. Like I don't want to know. Oh no, me either. I'm. Everyone's yeah. like, it's cool. I'm like, yeah, but we're at a certain age where yeah. it's like, it's not funny. I got predis predispositions. No. If 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 you have this certain I blood type, I have asthma, like, like, all that. Yeah, you don't want to risk it. No, I I'm not trying it. to play that game. But yeah. you know, you secretly vape. You secretly vape for sure. <laughs> I secretly vape. Yeah, I'd be vaping. On Everyone, the what as soon as this podcast is done, you just fucking suck back half a jar of vape. <laughs> yeah, I got one of those big rigs. I'm just like, <laughs> 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 yeah. fucking. Oh, so so, Sean, I yes, just want to like. I know that your time is valuable. Yeah. Um, can you give, can you just give our good friend Two Tone like three, <laughs> three like easy steps to just becoming a little more positive? Yes, sir. Uh, get married. <laughs> get married. He might be right. He might you be right. You know what I mean? He might Turn be right. that girlfriend into a wife. Okay. Yeah. Uh, donate time. Will you marry me? I'm, I'm proposing officially. <laughs> oh, shit. No. Uh, donate your time. I mean, you, you, you donate know. time. Yeah, be and, altruistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give out. Yeah, yeah. That, okay, we we know about that. And uh, you know, just be good to your homies, which you be already are. Homies. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, look out for Maddie. Yeah, <laughs> you well, know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a tough one. Look out for me, two tone. Yeah, look out for me. <laughs> look out for Maddie. Maddie needs my help. Yeah, yeah. Look out for Maddie. You know. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. That's good. Those are words to live by. Yeah. See, um, this is the thing that's a beautiful thing. Fucking Sean B, during the middle of a fucking pandemic, gets up, stands up for his fucking friends, serving food, doing the right thing. Two Tone goes on secret hikes with a fucking military vest, doesn't reach out to anybody, calls me and just is mean to me. He calls, he FaceTimes me like once a week and just oh, like pain shit. transfers. And just oh, yells he's such at a me. he's such a liar. <laughs> it's the absolute opposite. I call him to talk about like the podcast and things, and he just basically dumps all his shit on me. And then I get off the phone <laughs> and I'm stressed out because I'm a very sensitive person. And I take on your bullshit, and then I'm like, "Fuck! Nope. Now I got to fucking deal with it." Oh. oh my god! He's trying okay. to do. Exactly. I'm trying to do a pain transfer right now. Look at him. No, no, don't no, no. you? I'm gonna don't do you do this do. right now, though? Sean B. Yes, sir. What are you a conspiracy guy? No, not at all. Nah, Not at all. Nah. UFOs. Are UFOs real? I mean, I feel like they are. I feel like they are. Yeah. I'm going camping next week. I feel like I might see one. Where are you going? I think uh, so. Oh hi. Oh hi. Yeah. You got a spot out there? I want to go camping. Um, I don't know. My girl has a spot that she found. Really? And we're like legit camping. That's I want to do that. Yeah. I'm like every I'm more than ever, I just want to be in the woods. Yeah. That's all I want to do. Yeah. That's all so, I want to do right now. That's tight. So you're I gonna feel get like a, I feel like I'd see one out there. You're gonna get a tent. You're gonna go shit in the woods in yep. the coffee can. All that. Okay, cool. Cook over Dude. open fire. Cook over open fire. Yeah, all that. Dude, that's my candles. life. Yeah. Dude, that's when these life. borders open up, when these borders open up, we gotta cook together. Oh, Yo, for sure. Maddie, you know what we should do when the border opens up? Let's do a camping episode. Have you, have you ever camped? You guys in LA, do you guys camp? It's not like we <laughs> yeah. camp like every day. You guys you camp? Don't, you don't camp you every camp. day because you, you live on a farm. I mean, when I was a kid, maybe, but like not really. I love it. I love it. I want to. You don't camp. I, I literally camp. pitch. I, I literally picture like how Two Tone grew up, like the Warriors in Venice. <laughs> it was just, like, that's what. I, that's what I picture. I picture. I like, mean, look. On, look. I oh, went to a high shit. school where like people drove around the school and shot into it while you're in class. Really? Like it was See, normal. I, I grew up in Simi Valley. Oh, okay. Which was like 
Yeah, like I didn't come junior out. high. Junior high was like, junior high, it would be like the period before nutrition, and you just hear you hear a car bumping, and you'd see a car, you see like a regal just driving, and they just start shooting into the fucking playground. Damn. Like, it was normal. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, Ooh, And I wasn't even, that's... and I was, we were like, that, that then the kids that were in the gangs were really, they were the ones getting shot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. my partner and shit. Yeah. So, it's like, yeah, it was a little like the Warriors would have been a little more fun. Like a bunch of guys on roller skates dressed like clowns. I can handle that. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Oh my god! All right, I All better right. get out. He's got to bounce. Yeah, Sean, okay, always Sean a pleasure, me. man. Thank you so much, Maddie. Thank you. Good to see Are you. you. We got a T-shirt. Love here you. For you too. Oh, Love we got a T-shirt. Yo, thank you so All much, you Sean. We'll talk to you soon, buddy. All right, we'll drop you from our. We'll drop your info. Yeah, that's right. Hey, wait, 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 Sean. What's your website? You got a website? I'll get it. We'll put it. What's your what? What's your website, Sean? We'll plug it. Uh, that's uh, at the Natural Wine Club. Natural Wine. We'll say, Natural Wine Club, right. and then at Social Distance Dining. And Social Distance Dining. We'll put it in the bottom third. <laughs> All right. Later on. All right. Yeah. Later. Sean B. What a nice guy. You know, people He's come the on, they bring you some chicken. I just ate during the whole thing. We did a food podcast against my judge. That's two food podcasts in a row, which. The thing, I, I, I you didn't even try to offer me some. I'm sitting right here at this table. And you I'm sorry. Me I didn't day. think you were hungry. Do you want a cookie, Maddie? Hold on. I love me, a cookie. Let me feed you a cookie. Let me have a cookie. I get a bite. Hey, give me oh. a bite. Oh, oh my God. is it good? Oh, oh. Open wide, fucko. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is fucked up. Just so you. So bad. What? Just, just so you know. Once I do this, I'm done. You're for the acting day. out right now. You're acting out right now. Once this happens, my day is just—it's gonna get real spooky. Who knows what's One gonna cookie. happen? One cookie. One cookie could just destroy you. It triggers me. Sugar, yeah. like, sugar gets in my system. I'm fucking, I'm like the Incredible Hulk for cake. Yeah, what are you going to you know do? Saying? Just, like, fucking just fuck yourself. Just fuck, I'm going to order a whole cake. I'm going to get ice cream. Yeah. You Duct know, tape gonna, yourself to a wall. I'm going to keister a few grams of sugar. It's going to be sick. Ugh. It's going to be quite a day. How long have you known Sean? Man, Sean's just like, he's been around forever. I don't know. Since like the graffiti days, which is like twenty years ago. Crazy. He is so nice. That's what. That, that's like the th every time I, I I see him, he's just smiling ear to ear, and it's so he's, like he's such a rare fucking you can't, person. You can't fuck with consistency, right? No. He's consistently no. been the same dude from jump. So. That yeah. that's that that's the that's the people you want to surround yourself with, you know. Mm -hmm. Sean B is 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 Sean B is literally like that is the par of being just a good person, you know. Yeah. You could learn a lot. You could learn a lot from him. I could. I'm not happy at him. Uh, I'm not happy that he brought his cookies over here. He he knew he knew you were a wild Wolverine. These cookies, now, are so, and, Maddie. These cookies are so good, and there's like six of them. What am I gonna do? Are you gonna eat, eat all of them on camera right now? I want to see you fucking. <laughs> let's see it. Let's fuck smoke it all. It's like when your dad, you get caught smoking a cigarette. I really you get don't. caught smoking a cigarette, and I your really... dad makes you smoke the whole pack. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing that to myself for, for a long time. Let me watch want... you eat six cookies right now. I don't want to. I'll How eat one fast? more. How fast? If I had some milk, it would be, it would be over. I have some oat milk. <laughs> some milk. I'll do another. This, this is the game I play. I play this game. I go, well, I'll just have half a cookie more and put this one away. This is how, this is how you, you smoke. the other cookie. This is the same way that you smoke crack. You know, you cut a little piece off, you hide it up on the mantle, you take a little piece, blaze it, and you go, "Well, there's another piece over there," and you cut that one in half. Same, same, uh, same sensory and by the synapses. End of it, you're, you're eating like fucking dog dander out of a fucking rug. Exactly. Yeah. There's yeah. no difference. Sugar, cocaine, it's all the same. For me, dude, a drug, drugs a drug. Yeah. One is too many. A thousand is never enough. Never enough. Well. What a show, you know? What a show. That was nice. I like that. Why are you look, That's a it, nice, the, easy one. That was, was beautiful. Up, what's up with your watch? What do you got? No, I'm good. I'm good. Um, Since when do you I wear a watch? Ask, um, I started wearing a watch recently. I got a Timex. Okay. Shout out Quinn and Kumasi from Good Company. They sent me a nice watch. Oh. And I've been wearing... 
I never, I never, we should get them on. You know, Kamasi's Kama a homie. Yes, I know that. Get him on. I don't know, know for you, years. I don't know who you know. I know, don't, dude. Kamasi, I've known those guys. Uh, they used to come to Parks and Labor when they would come to Toronto. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small world. So, dude, Good Company is like one of the first, like you, like I've known them like probably uh, the same amount of time as I've known you, actually. Yeah, actually. Yeah. No, I remember we were like, we were fucking with them early on. When the early New York. The internet trip. froze. Fuck. I can see you. I can see you. I can hear you. We got it. Can you hear me? What are you doing? What are you doing, Maddie? Hello? Hello? Just keep talking. Just keep saying stuff. Don't stop. Don't stop. Hello? Hello? Oh, my God. Ugh. Well, Maddie, Maddie's uh, computer right. froze. Who's completely it. given up on life. We were going to discuss uh, a lot of how people are saying they're not mean. Like, it's not like we're I think I broke down the paradigm between There's what appears to be mean and what really is mean and who appears to be nice, who appears to be nice and who's really a wretched, toxic piece of shit. Draw the lines, make the parallels, uh, do the diagrams where the powerful truth angels. I'm sorry. I apologize to all you people for eating on camera today, but you know, it just happened. Not a food pod still though. Love you all.